Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Clara's Dog Grooming Service, how can I help you? Hi, I'm Mr. Cohen. My dog Rusty got out of the yard and ran through the farmer's field next to my house. He's filthy, and I like to bring him in for a wash. He might as well get groomed while we're there. When would you like to come in? As soon as possible. He really is very dirty. Okay, we can take care of that right away. Does Rusty have long hair or short hair? He's a long haired terrier. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. Number 32. Who most likely is the woman? Number 33. Why is the man calling? Number 34. What is true about the dog? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, are there still tickets available for the concert tonight? Yes, there are, sir, but just a few. How many would you like to buy? I'm waiting for the rest of my friends to show up. We're all buying our own tickets, so I'll just take one. Well, if possible, I'd recommend that you buy tickets for your friends now and then get them to pay you back when they arrive. I don't think the remaining tickets are going to last long. Okay, in that case, I'll take six. Can I pay with a credit card? Number 35. What does the man want to do? Number 36. What information does the woman give the man? Number 37. What advice does the woman give to the man? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Simi, our sausages are selling quite well, but I think we would do even better if we did some local advertising. I agree. Everyone says they like them and quite a few come back to buy again, but our customers are mostly just people that pass by. What kind of advertising do you have in mind? I don't think that social media would work for our business. I was thinking of something more old fashioned, like hiring someone to pass out flyers at the mall down the street. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. I'll work on designing a flyer this evening and show it to you in the morning. Number 38. What are the speakers discussing? Number 39. What does the man suggest? Number 40. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Excuse me. I can't seem to pay for my parking at this machine. Have you used this machine before? Yes, I work here, so I use it every day. Here, let me try to pay mine, and we'll see what happens. Hmm, I can't seem to pay either. Hi, guys. I'm sorry, but the automated payment system is down today. Just drive to the exit as usual. We've put staff on at the exit kiosk, and they will take your payment. Sorry for the confusion. You should really tape a sign to the machine informing people of the problem. That would certainly avoid some confusion and frustration. That's a good idea. I'll take care of it right away. Number 41. What problem are the speakers discussing? Number 42. Where is the conversation most likely taking place?
Number 43. What does the woman tell the men to do? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Lois. Sorry I'm late. That's okay, Mr. Samir. I got your message that you were stuck in traffic, so I adjusted Dr. Samuel's schedule to accommodate you. He should be able to see you within 20 minutes. Oh, that's great. Thanks very much. I really want to get this test done so that we can get going with a treatment. Yes, I'm sure Dr. Samuel wants to get it done, too. By the way, did you complete the forms that I emailed you last week? Yes, I did, Lewis, but my printer is broken, so I didn't print them. I've got them here on this flash drive. That's fine. Give it to me and I'll print them for you. Number 44. Where are the speakers? Number 45. Why is the man late? Number 46. What will the woman do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi Jacques. Hi Elsie. How did it go with the new dessert recipe we were discussing yesterday? Well, we tried the recipe twice and it was okay, but we both thought it would be better with walnuts than with almonds. So we tried that and it was definitely better. Here, try a piece. You're right. That tastes really good. Are you comfortable putting it on the menu for tonight? Jacques and I were just discussing that. We think we should try the walnut version one more time to make sure we've got it right. You're probably right, so let's stay with the old menu for tonight. And if your next test works out, we can change the dessert menu for tomorrow evening. Number 47. What are the speakers discussing? Number 48. What does Jacques want to change? Number 49. What will most likely happen tomorrow? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, my name is Earl and I'm calling from Green Tree Environmental Service. We specialise in the disposal of hazardous waste and I'm calling to see if your company might be interested in our services. Actually, we are looking for a new waste disposal company. Could you drop by the factory this afternoon? I'll be in Wilmington today. Can I come to talk with you tomorrow morning instead? Sure, I'll be here all day. Just ask for me at reception and they'll page me. Great. In the meantime, why don't you have a look at our website at www.greentreeenvironmental.com. Number 50. What type of service does the man's company offer? Number 51. Why does the man say, I'll be in Wilmington today. Number 52. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Julie, I reviewed the new poster you designed for the trade fair. It looks great, but I wonder if we could include a customer testimonial. Sure we can, Ahmed. I'll check with marketing. I know they keep a file of customer comments on hand. Would you just like one? Why don't you choose three that you think suit the poster and submit them to me? I'll show them to a couple of the other managers and then I'll let you know which one we like best. Sure, I'll do that. But would you mind if I submit them to you tomorrow morning? 
I have a dental appointment this afternoon and I'd hate to miss it. Yes, that would be fine, but please do it first thing because I'm quite busy tomorrow afternoon. Number 53. Who most likely is the man? Number 54. What does the woman agree to do? Number 55. Why does the woman want to delay a submission? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Tri-State Truck Stop and Service Center, this is Liza speaking. Can I help you? Hi, Liza. My name is Mike. My truck blew a front tire on Highway 171, eastbound at mile marker 477. I need a new tire installed as soon as possible. OK, Mike, but first I need to know if the truck is impeding traffic. Do I need to call the state police to handle any traffic issues? I've already done that, Liza. They're on the way now. I've also put out some flares and traffic is very light at the moment. That's good. Can you send me a picture of the front tire that is not damaged so that I can see if we have a replacement in stock? Sure. I'll send it as soon as we hang up. Great. I'll talk with our dispatcher and have a repair truck sent out as soon as possible. We aren't too busy today, so you shouldn't have to wait very long. Number 56. What are the speakers discussing? Number 57. What does the man imply when he says, I've already done that? Number 58. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Welcome, Haruki. I'm glad you could make it in today to tell us about your marketing services. What are you going to be focusing on today? Well, in keeping with current practices, we'll be spending most of our time looking at internet marketing strategies, especially with regard to social media and e-commerce. Our firm recently won an industry award for our new e-commerce platform, BizEngage. That sounds impressive. I'm sure the team will want to know about that. We're very proud of that accomplishment, so you can be sure it's in my presentation. Great. Well, let's go upstairs to the boardroom. Our sales and marketing team should be there already. Number 59. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 60. What accomplishment does the man mention? Number 61. What will the speakers do next? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and seating list. Hi, Lena. I've been working on the seating plan for tomorrow night's dinner party. It's not quite as simple as I thought it would be. Can you take a look and let me know what you think? Sure thing, Marcus. Hmm, well, it looks pretty good to me. But don't you think we should seat Mrs. Izmir at Mrs. Walton's table? The last time the two companies met, they got along very well together. Also, I think it would suit the two CEOs if we seated their wives together. You know, for diplomatic reasons. Good point. OK, I'll do that. But right now I need to go and talk with the catering manager about the wines that have been selected. I don't think they're good enough for this event. Number 62. What type of event are the speakers preparing for? Number 63. What does the man say he is going to do?
Number 64. Look at the graphic. Which table should Mrs. Izmir be seated at? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and catalog. Jenny, I've just finished reviewing your latest draft of the catalog. In general, it looks quite good and the content is all excellent. But I'd like you to make a couple of changes. Sure thing, Amos. What do you have in mind? First, we have to remember that this catalogue is aimed specifically at librarians, so we need to make that more clear. Could you increase the font size of the catalogue title and place it directly under the company name? Yes, I can. Any other changes you'd like me to make? I think the background colour is just a touch too dark. Could you make it a bit brighter so that the text stands out a little more? Okay, Amos. Those are simple changes. I'll have the next draft back to you early this afternoon. I hope there won't be any more changes because we're scheduled at the printer tomorrow. Number 65. According to the man, what is the target market for the catalog? Number 66. What is scheduled for tomorrow? Number 67. Look at the graphic. What will appear immediately above the catalog title after the change is made? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. Oakley Electronics, Sales Department, how may I help you? Hi, my name is Omar Shah. I saw your sale in the paper this morning. I'd like to place an order for a Tanaka laptop computer. I work in graphic design, so I need a computer with a very powerful graphics processing unit. I see. Well, I'd recommend that you purchase the model with the Cadmium XT GPU. It's currently the fastest GPU available in a laptop, so I'm confident that it will meet your requirements. Okay, I'll take your advice on that. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. I'll place the order for you now. I'll need your credit card number. Will you pick it up yourself, or would you like us to deliver it to you at no charge? Number 68. What is taking place at the store? Number 69. What does the woman offer to do? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which computer will the man receive?